for a while, but especially this this weekend, Queen Studios is the only company that would do something like this. I think we all agree on that. Yeah. I mean, the amount of time and effort and money they put into having us collectors uh, come out and view these products, most of these products are sold out. I mean, there's no benefit for them other than to give back to the community. So I think that's pretty cool. And I promised John about 10 seconds ago that I would get the crowd hyped. You guys look like you're about to fall asleep. No. And I'm not one of those assholes that stands up and says, oh, let me hear you louder, I'm excited. I don't you hate those people? So, uh, but, uh, were we ready to start or no? Let's go! Let's go! Let's go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, on three, on three, let's do the sick mansion. One, two, three, let's go! So it's nothing to 
do it the American rugby. <laughs> Okay, in 2018, uh, that's when we got our first Marvel license and we worked with Disney and we were one of the first companies in the world. Actually, we are the first company in the world to get the license for silicone for Disney. And at the moment, I don't think anyone else has that license. Uh, in one to one busts. And then we're the first company to start working with Warner Brothers in China. And Warner Brothers is a really big um, partner of ours. So we're hoping to expand our licensing into the US very soon. So hopefully, towards the beginning of next year, we'll start to introduce more of our collectibles into the US, so you guys can order directly from trusted uh, distributors, and you don't have to worry about who you're buying from. In 2020, this is when uh, we established another business line, uh, which is really popular in Asia, but not so much in uh, the US or Europe. And then in 2021, that's when Viper joined the team. So Viper started working with us on the Joker pieces and rooting the hair, that's his speciality. And at that time, we decided we'll start work on our six scale figures. So although we launched in 2022, this has been a whole year in the making. So those figures you've seen today, we've been working on for a year. And we've been really working behind the scenes to make sure they're as lifelike and as realistic as possible. And that's what our goal is as a company. Um, so the plan for the rest of this year, we do have some more IP from the Chinese licenses. So today you saw the TJF, which is from a Taiwanese uh, artist, which was in the middle of the room, the Queen Studios. And then also we'll have a Chinese movie that will release as a statue as well. But that's been delayed, so maybe next year. Okay. Okay, so yeah, until now we've been making a lot of stuff from Disney, but we're also trying to make stuff from Hasbro as well. So as you guys have seen, we're making more of the life-size Transformers busts. So the life-size Transformers busts we've had... Megatron! <laughs> yeah, so Megatron's coming. We've, so far we've had uh, Bumblebee. Optimus Prime, yeah, yeah. Optimus Prime. That's alright, I can do the presentation. Yeah. Maybe start. Okay, next slide. So these are a lot of these are the licenses that we're working on right now. Um, so we do have some Harry Potter pieces in the works, uh, life size busts. We also have some six scale figures planned for Harry Potter as well. And we also start to work on the Flash. But as everyone knows, that's me. <laughs> yeah, and then also Pennywise, we've released a figure so far. The Matrix is on the way. We <laughs> Our original plan for the Matrix is we're gonna release the figure from the fourth Matrix, but it didn't go down well. So maybe we'll just cheat and use the head sculpt for a job week in the future. <laughs> and then go back and do the, uh, the original Matrix, the 1, 2, and 3. Um, the Joker is up there, the 2019 Joker. So the 2019 Joker, we will make a six scale figure next year, and it will be a high price point, maybe around $1,000. Um, but this will also be a limited edition, and we'll probably be one of the very, very few companies that will make that, because the director's got very strict. Um, rules on what he wants from his collectibles. Can you talk about Harry Potter or not? What do you want to know about Harry Potter? What plans? What's one bust for Harry Potter? Next year. Hermione wants one bust. Wow. And figures. And we also have another brand that Viper is uh, the art director of, which we'll introduce next year as well. Awesome. Definitely. Hope so. So there's some new licenses on there. We're going to also start working with some Japanese anime. But also we have the, as Americans would say, Doom. In England would say June. So Doom, we've got the global license for that. So the Paul Atreides six scale figure will show in Thailand. We tried to get it for this event. But Viper is a perfectionist. 
If it's not 100%, it won't show you. What scale? Six scale. Oh, wow. So we also had the arrow going up as well, but we didn't show that today because Viper is not 100% happy. He wants everything to be perfect in the fields because that's just how he is. Um, on this list, we also have Terminator. So towards the end of this year, towards the beginning of next year, we should see a one-to-one -one Terminator T800 boss. <laughs> this, this one will have full lightness. So before we did, maybe four years ago, we did a battle damage Terminator boss, which would add half of Arnold's lightness. This one will be full lightness. Next slide. Two out. So another thing that we're working on right now, uh, you'll see there, the M and the J. Queen Studios right now is working with the licensor for Michael Jackson, and at the end of this year we'll have a thriller bust. So no one's done that before other than custom pieces, so we will have a one-to-one -one life size thriller bust. As the wolf? Not as the wolf. In the red jacket. Uh, no, no, just as before, 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 yeah. But remember, he goes to the transition of, he's like got the eyes and something. Yeah. <laughs> that's good yeah, and then also we're working on six scale figures as well, because it's a long time since anyone's done Michael Jackson in six scale. So we're working on that right now. So by the end of this year, we will have uh, some more. Michael Jackson licensed products, um, and they will be licensed globally, so you guys will be able to order those. Next slide. Okay, so the key artists in our company, so at the top we've got Oliver, and then we've got John Chow, and then we've also got these other artists here, and these guys work with us directly on a lot of our projects. So sometimes what we'll do is we'll choose the artists based on their speciality. So if they make something that we think is cool, we'll choose them to work with directly. So in the next few slides, we'll introduce some of the collectibles these guys have designed. And these guys are also worth following because these guys are doing kind of work. Okay, and before that, this is a quick introduction of behind the scenes of Queen Studios. And this year, the end of this year, we will sell the one-to-one. -one. 
much. Uh, so some people will buy that. The price point is around fifty thousand dollars. So if you've got the space, just let us know. Okay, so this is Oliver. He's our art director, and he's also worked on some Marvel projects as well. So he's been in the art industry for a long time. He's worked on a lot of, well, almost every project Oliver oversees, but these are some of his favorite works that he's worked on. So the third scale Catwoman will be delivering hopefully by the end of this year. And then we've got the Joaquin Phoenix Joker life-size bust, which Todd Phillips reached out to us and said he was a big fan of this piece. And he also signed the jackets and sent that to the team, so Oliver has a signed copy of this bust. And then, of course, the Elite Battle Angel is one of our favorites. Hello,我是Oliver,Chris 所有人这么多玩家的青睐希望这是活动但是你们不需执行这种你们所知道每天收藏品背后是你的艺术家想要传达的东西的东西而我们想要传达的是希望收藏者在收到收藏品时你感受到快乐而我们做的期待下次见到
and she specializes in marble effect work. So the reason why we chose to work with Maria is she's really good at this style. So she worked with us on three projects that were also very popular. So next slide. So that is the museum line. So we're hoping to work with Maria again on other projects like this. So what we really wanted to do is get the three key characters and create them in a marble aesthetic so that when you put them all together, it feels very, very uh, imposing and looks good in the collection. It could be anywhere. Some people that don't even collect could put this anywhere in their house and it would look, it would look really good. Okay, so. And then this is Kevin Cassidy. So Kevin worked with us on a few of our marble projects. Projects. So the Venom Life Size Bust and the Cardi's Life Size Bust, which I think are both or both were available with Sideshow. Uh, I think they're sold out now. So these two are some really these are what we wanted to work on for a while. So Oliver collects these as well and he wanted to work with Kevin to make these happen. So these two projects have been a passion project for him and also Kevin Cassidy. So these two pieces uh, we really like these, and we're also thinking about making something similar next year with a Venom Spider-Man. So, collectors that like these might want to also collect the uh, Venom Spider-Man. Okay. Next slide. So this is also a big piece. So we've got two like this. So this is from the Throne series, and we work with this artist directly. And we have the Batman of Throne, the uh, Batman Who Laughs, and also towards next year, we we'll also have the Joker on Throne and Harley Quinn on Throne. So the reason why we haven't released them yet is we were still speaking with one brother. So as a company, we really want to work on the detail and make the best pieces possible. So from, from the end to end, we will listen to the feedback because we want to make the best and the highest quality pieces we can. So an example of that is today you guys saw the one-to-one -one Captain America life-size bust. We originally made that with only one arm and it's holding the uh, Mjolnir hammer. But the feedback was you can't have Captain America without the shield. So as we want to make sure every piece has attention to detail, every piece works, we listen to the feedback, we pause that uh, flexible, and then we re-release it with the shield. I, I think the best example of that is when you guys redid the uh, life-size Gal Gadot uh, Wonder Woman bus face. Yeah, yeah. Fantastic example. So usually when you guys comment, we'll screenshot all the comments, and we'll see is this enough people that we think it's the, the majority, and then we'll share that with the artist, and we'll continue to, to really work on the, on the flexible. Yeah, so, so far we've been looking on, even though we're in China, our fans take our stuff all around the world. So we've got our Tom Holland certificate signed by Tom Holland. Uh, Jason uh, has got a signed uh, shoulder pad from our first Lucky Bus. At the top right, that's the C.B. Sobolski, the guy from Marvel. He's the guy that's a big fan of our work. And then also one of our collectors in Europe took the Arnold bus to a conference and also got that signed by Tom Holland. So we're very lucky to have a lot of collectors around the world that really like our work. And this is why we've held an event like this today, because we want to give back to the people that buy from us. And without you, we can't continue to do what we're doing. So globally, we work with, um, we try to have experiences with collectors that make our collectibles work for the collectors. Also, there's, uh, there's a lot of clubs starting on Facebook, Internet. Yeah. So we're kind of driving our own community. Yeah, yeah. There's a lot. We try to join those groups as much as possible, so that there's questions. We I just joined like two months ago. I love it. Next slide. Yeah. So this year we got the best DC product award from uh, from Warner Brothers, and also we get a lot of uh, attention online from YouTubers give us some awards for voting and that kind of thing. So we really appreciate that. We do share that with our artists. Next slide. 
So at the moment, we do have um, three or four key categories within Free Studios. So the Master Series, so the Doctor Strange Master Series, is a uh, very limited pieces. We've got the Artist Series, which is like the Artist Edition Joker. And then we've got the Life Size Series, where we focus on the Life Size Busts. And then we've got some limited series where they're very really low edition numbers. So that's what we're working on at the moment. And then we've also got In Art, which focuses on six scale figures. So what we'll do now is we'll introduce some of the collectibles that are coming up. So this is the one-to-one -one life size Mark 44. So if you've got the space, we can make it for you. Is it really that big? Yeah, that's what it's So last year it took about an hour and two cranes, a uh, crane to put it together for one of the investments. Uh, we've already had around three orders in Southeast Asia, so people are interested. So, if you've got the, the money and the money to ship it, we'll see what we do. <laughs> so here's some more details. So it's exactly the same as the quarter scale, but we scaled up to life size. So all the details are there, all the lights will work, and it's a very imposing piece. Stick one, you need this. <laughs> I already got the other one. You get a hundred thousand followers instantly. True that. All right. Okay. <laughs> Definitely. Next slide. So this one we'll be showing hey. next week in Thailand. Unfortunately, it's going to get in time with this event, but this is the Mark Three. So there's going to be two versions: the clean version and a battle damage. So this is a close-up of the clean version. Where do they go on pre-order? Um, this one. Tomorrow. <laughs> Don't say that. Uh, Thailand, Hong Kong, so it should be available for pre-order in a few weeks now. Okay. Maybe there might be a US license towards the end of the year. You can't buy them. Oh, that's the rule. Well, you gotta buy them. Right, Todd? <laughs> Next slide. So some more details. That's great. Yeah. Uh, come on, come on. Full size. Full size. <laughs> I love it. Okay, we're not. That's pretty bad. Yeah, so this is the battle damage version. So they tried hard to capture all the weathering, all the damage to the front of the helmet, and on the rest of the armor as well. Some more close ups. Presence. Oh, so much presence. Another piece we're working on right now is the Black Adam Montro. So this will probably be released later in the year after the movie is released, and this is the quarter scale. Next one. So this is the 3D work we've been working on right now. So this will be a big piece. And uh, there's not a lot of reference to go on at the moment, so our team work really hard to make sure that there's as much detail packed into this as possible. I think we'll fit with our other thermal pieces as well. Okay, so <laughs> another piece we're working on is the one-to-one -one life size Mark III statue. So this is a really early look at this. And also a quarter scale. This is inspired by. Are you guys using a different paint application for the gold? Because it looks like four unitary gold. Yeah, so from the video we saw earlier, we have a lot of in house artists and they, they spray in house all the time. And they're always working on mixing colors to make sure each color matches. Like so. And then this is. If you ordered all of the Iron Man, this is how they look. So these have been designed to all fit together. So we have had questions about the size and the height, and the reason why we didn't change it is because they fit together just like this. So if you are able to get all of them, this is exactly how they look. So this is also coming soon. So the red and blue 
new suitable Superman. And also, in the front, if you lift off the Superman logo, there's a tiny silicone baby. That's that's not it. Yeah, it is. Yeah, so this is designed from the ship that's no from the movie when he was... Sprinting. That's not Henry Cavill. <laughs> and then we also have the black suit. So no one else has seen these yet. These are early look at this one. Oh, shit. So, so far we've made one comic book and we want to make more. So this is a core scale piece that we're working on right now. And we made this in green. Next slide. Who's the who's the sculptor for this? Uh, so. Uh, John Shaw, okay. the guy from a few slides. Next slide. And then we're also making gray. So in this section, we'll introduce more about in art. So in art originally was uh, was part of Green Studios, but eventually it will separate and they'll become their own team because their main focus is on six scale figures and they want to make sure that they can tailor each collectible to the six scale figure market because both markets have different demands and that's what in art will do. This one. This one. So it's a subsidiary of our main company and we founded in 2020, uh, 2021 with Viper as the lead director of our. And Viper is a long time collector of six scale figures and he specializes in rooted hair and insanely realistic uh, facial portraits. That's what he works on and that's why he joined our team to make sure he can make these six scale figures. Next slide. So the, in our, the goal is scale down your world. So what we want to do is anything that you see, we want to be able to scale that down. So any of your favorite characters, doesn't matter, like we said, Michael Jackson, it could be from sports, it could be uh, vehicles, anything like that. We want to scale it down and make it as realistic and lifelike as possible. And that's the goal of in our, scale it down your world. So everything that in art is designed, they focus on every detail. So they focus on the different elements from the periodic table and they've added that to our logo. And they want to make sure that even down to the packaging, it also features these colors, these textures, and uh, maybe in the next few weeks, we'll be sharing some of the packaging details on the six scale Joker, um, the, the deluxe version and the regular we'll be sharing the packaging. Every detail is uh, is included because that's what the team really wants to focus on, making the full collectible experience from end to end. So, as you saw today, these are our first works. So we've got the Joker and the Bruce Wayne, uh, sorry, the Batman with the Bruce Wayne head sculpt. So this, uh, so that was the deluxe, and then also we've got the premium pieces, which also these pieces are slightly more affordable, and the other ones we're going for a more premium uh, market. So they are slightly more expensive than UK for other six scale figures, but that's because we want to use the finest materials in all of these as well. So even the penny wise, the texture in the uh, in the clothes, all of that, we want to make sure we make the best six scale figures. Nothing that will degrade over time. So this was our first. So we had the standard premium deluxe. It was available in a two pack, as you know, and maybe we won't do that in the future, other than maybe the Joaquin Phoenix Joker, because that price might be quite high. Um, and for this piece, this piece you saw today is actually a production piece. So that piece, came off the production line, 
So it's not just the sample that we made in the office, it's actually articulating. So I think there's already some videos online today showing the full articulation of this six scale figure joker. Because for many people are worried, how is it going to work? Is it going to articulate? Can the, the joker, the jail scene sit down? And yes, it can. We've used magnets in the feet so that there's no brackets holding it up. We've also used magnets in the wrists to eliminate any breakages on the pegs and also in the neck so you can change out the head sculpts really easily. For the detailing in this kind of work, we want to use as much realistic material as possible. So if a gun is made of metal, we'll try and use metal, like die cast or we can. The only exception is where like a knife, we can't make metal knives. But other than that, all the details are really, uh, really there and we try to use the same materials that would be there in real life. Next slide. Yep, so as I mentioned, the gel cells at the back that you saw today, all die cast metal, wooden floor, all magnetized, so you can stand and move around on the base itself. Next slide. So this is the different versions that you can buy. So maybe we'll listen to your feedback about this in the future. If you want more, we could add more. If if you think it's better to buy single pieces, we might make some Could you uh, supply maybe the display cases as well? So the display cases you saw today, we might be able to offer those. Because I know it's a, it's, a, it's a problem for us because sometimes it's hard to get it from another country or it takes so long and we're trying to do something else, but if you could include that. Yeah, we might be able to offer those as a as an additional purchase. So those are- would Maybe. Also, the Gandalf you saw today is uh, yeah, the Gandalf you saw today is also a final piece as well. So production is underway in Gandalf already. So again, fully articulated, all the hair rooted, everything's everything's ready. So we're working on that right now. At the moment, Viper is sleeping in the factory to make sure that we deliver on time because we said Q4 2022, and we're going to stick to our word on that. <coughs> yeah, so fully articulated today, we can only show more pose, but you can fully pose for you. And in terms of accessories, when we release this particular six scale figure, a lot of the collectors said that we needed to include two staffs. So we actually paused the pre-order and we added a second staff to this piece because it was important to collect us, so it was important to us. So this picture doesn't include that second staff. But this is something we'll do if people want it, we'll make it. So the Pennywise, also, um, today we didn't show the balloon, but with the balloon itself, we want to make sure it's seamless and looks as real as possible. So it doesn't look like a plastic toy, it could look like a real balloon. And we focus on the every single detail, even the background, the background displays, all made of cloth and all wood as well. Next slide. And even down to the pieces that come with it, all the accessories, all made of paper. We try to use the same materials as much as possible and also as many different hands so you can pose and display as you see. Okay. Yeah, so today we also showed you the Batman. And um, the Batman, we're still working on that. We might still make some changes, especially on the Bruce Wayne. We still think we can do better with that. So what you saw today isn't the final, final piece, but it's pretty close. And we'll keep listening to the feedback from what you guys say today and what people say online. We'll continue to work on that. But so far, we're really happy with how the Batman turned out.
Maximilian with the Michael Jackson uh, license tune, and then also some Chinese licenses. So, as a company, we want to make sure that we're focusing on not only the film IP, but also popular culture. So another license we're inquiring about right now is Bruce Lee. Bruce Lee's not been done in a long time, so we want to look at that. But also, we want to listen to collector's suggestions. So maybe about six months ago, we had a group uh, on Facebook where we asked you guys to suggest what licenses, what characters, what do you want to see? And we got a lot of feedback, which was all very similar, Terminator, Predator, Iron Man, all that kind of stuff. So what we really want to hear from you guys is what do you think is new and different outside of Warner Brothers, outside of Disney, and we'll try and make that happen. So Bruce Lee, Michael Jackson are the first two outside of the big licenses that everyone collects, and we want to continue to do that so that you guys can collect your favorite characters, and we'll scale that down to six scale. So anime is one we'll start working on. We'll also come out with our original works, um, similar to the TGIF that you saw today, we can do that in six scale. Celebrity Masters, so this, that's a bad translation, but basically any pop culture figure, iconic, for example Muhammad Ali, someone like that we could focus on as well. Uh, we also want to start working on our own merchandise and also display cases. So some of those cases that you saw today, we will start to offer those to collectors and we'll look for other opportunities to work with other people to make sure you can display these figures and give them the justice they deserve. And also, as I mentioned, we want to hear from you guys about what you want to do. Okay, so that's it. So what we'll do now, <laughs> unfortunately I am English, so it is going to be growing down beat. So maybe <laughs> we can get the high man to go yeah. soon and get you all awake again, and then we'll go into the Q&A. <laughs> so what do you want to do? Like, like reach out to people? Yeah, yeah. Just some pause. Yeah, I get yeah. that. So if you have a question, I have the first question actually from, from someone watching. Hang on. Uh, he says, ask John for updates on the Mark 50 half scale pre pre order. It's been three years. It's a tough one, right? Has it been three? That, that's what this guy's. He, I can give you his name. He just he just posted on the video today. Mark 50 half scale. Yeah, so a lot of the, the factory has been closed down either through ex really bad heat uh, where they're over 45 degrees Celsius or there's been lockdowns sporadically around because of the Chinese zero right. COVID policy. All right, I'm going to respond. Get some patience, motherfucker. <laughs> All right, who, who has a question for uh, Queen Studios? Uh, all, all the way at the top, fucking seriously. Is hey, Todd? top? What anime, what anime licenses are you looking to get? What anime licenses are you looking at? Uh, we only, I, I'm not sure. Jason knows the Chinese name, so. Dragon Ball Z is something we're looking at. Uh, we also released some six scale statues earlier this year um, and that's what we've been looking at as well as six scale figures. Uh, e -E -B -A, the one, EVA. Oh, that's nice. First, uh, what's your name? Uh, name's Logan. Where's your, where are you from? South Florida. Florida. Uh, what's your uh, favorite Queen Sudo statue? <laughs> Uh, at this time, I'm definitely a big fan of the Heathrow Trophy. Just as well as six scale as being soon. Yeah! <laughs> Alright, so what's your question? Stop, like, talk, tell us about your life. In terms of the like, 
Any last thing? Are you going to go after maybe JoJo because of Queen Studios being, you know, fan of music and such inspiration? Uh, music is something we're looking at. So there's also uh, some Korean uh, bands that we're looking at licensing as well. So any suggestions like that, just let us know. Um, email us and we'll look into it. We're really looking to what you guys want to say. Any recommendations? When, when are we getting a life size more of They just teased it. it did you not pay attention? <laughs> life size. Yeah, yeah, they, they teased the life size. size. When? When? <laughs> Ten minutes ago. <laughs> when is the life size Mark III going up for PO? Uh, probably Q1 of 2023. Jimmy says thank you. Who else? Oh my god. Is this everyone who saved my hotel room last night? Seriously. Are there any plans for a Mark 46 half scale? Uh, One four at the moment, but not half scale right now. Um, Half scale next year, we're looking at. We're revising our plans right now, so. Maybe Loki, maybe Doctor Strange, if people are interested, but not the 46 at the moment. Maybe a quarter skin. <laughs> What's up with Star Wars? Oh, yeah. So, this, I've been talking to Jason about this. So, if you think we should do Star Wars, just raise your hand now. Yes! Yes! yes. Okay, Star Wars. Wars. So, if I wait, I'm not going to show this next. Shit is fire. It's comfy as hell. So we're gonna, uh, we've been speaking with Disney a lot about this. And hopefully we can make it happen, but it's not the uh, easy license to get. But uh, Disney China are interested, so we might be able to do it in China. Any other questions? Yes, I have a few questions. Um, first one is, uh, any plans on making a half scale Thor? Half scale. Yeah, so our plans, not not in the next two quarters, but our plans would be eventually to do the Doctor Strange, Loki, and Hostel Thor. So then we can put them together with the Captain America. We've already got the Iron Spider, Captain America, so you can put the whole team together. And then maybe if those work well, we can continue to expand the line so you can get all the Avengers in Hostel. Um, also, with the uh, half scale uh, iron, iron Spider, yeah. um, was there any considerations at all, uh, maybe like changing the pose? Yeah. It's, it's a little bit difficult to change the pose right now, but we are thinking about creating another Iron Spider or another half scale Spider Man, so we might change the pose on that. Uh, sorry, last question. Uh, any plans with any video game licenses, like uh, it being like Nintendo or Sony? The last of us has been mentioned a lot. Yeah. League of Legends. League of Legends is on there and all this. And the last of us has been mentioned a lot, so we'll look into it, but it's not always easy. It depends on who else has got the license. If it's available, we'll try it. Marvel Comics uh, yeah. statues. Uh, any plans for DC Comics? I know you did the, uh, the Wonder Woman statue, maybe I'll take it out. Uh, I'm thinking also for Inar, but yeah. do you guys, are you guys interested, or is that easy to get DC Comics licenses? Yeah, so we, we're working on some DC Comics for Inar and Green Studios. So both of those are all looking for pieces. Um, at the moment, we're waiting to hear back from the license for about expanding the territories. <laughs> If that's successful, then we'll win. I'll flush Batman in for in our. Oh, that'd be great. That's awesome. Yeah, maybe the first comic piece would be from Flush Batman. And, and then um, you were also talking about like out, out of the box uh, ideas for, for the figures and statues. Yeah. Uh, so, like, I was thinking, I mean, we'll speak forever, but like maybe looking into like, you know, popular Hollywood films that have been successful throughout cinema and so I know there are a lot of custom pieces, like online, you can find on Instagram, Facebook, who make really beautiful custom work. I've seen stuff from like Last Samurai, or that are just amazing. So 
I think it'd be cool if you went through and saw, looked at really popular films from across time and, uh, and maybe start putting up some polls and see what people love. Yeah, maybe if it's difficult with polling to really try and find the truth, maybe we could go through. But then we also need to find out who's really going to buy it and just think it's amazing. So, right. yeah, yeah. so we've got to find out that balance once we can do that. I think Gladiator, I think, would be cool. I've not seen Gladiator things. Um, so, so maybe it would be a good idea to, uh, to, I mean, obviously it's great to just ask people what they want in general, mm -hmm. but then once you start getting ideas, put that, put that specific ideas, say, what do you think about this? What do you think about this? Just like, yeah, one of the things we talked about last night, it's amazing how many times you'll put out, hey, who wants to buy this? And hundreds and hundreds of people say, I'm in. Then it's like, okay, drop the deposit, crickets. You know, so I've got him chasing, even though he used my real name, which he's not allowed to. <laughs> <laughs> no All right. Um, the first one is the, uh, the Mega Town on Rome. When are you expecting that? I have one. I really don't. <laughs> Yeah. 
She she was the best DM this week. All right, who else? Oh, there we go. Farthest away from me. Sorry. I'll get you next. That's all right. I have to pee like a race <laughs> So I saw in the presentation that you guys showed a slide of a license with Overlord and Jujutsu Kaisen. Yeah. Um, what's up with that? So we got the license for those and they're still in development. So at the moment we... we Where will I see it go, Joe wants it? Maybe next year. Do you guys, uh, are you guys going to do Beetle Juice by any chance? Beetle Juice. I don't think he knows who that is. I do. <laughs> I was going to say, you don't know who that is. Come on now. I don't, I don't know. I can't answer exactly yeah, what we'd like to. In our Beetle Juice fashion, we go crazy. Know. Yeah. We all speak to Viper about that, yeah. Um, that's all. Right. Well, I'll call Viper after this. He's on the seat. He's on the seat. He's on the seat.
look into the Durham Rabbits and also the Brindler would also be something we look at to look at as well for not immediately we probably look at spreading the releases for those. So they run the Batman first and then add those later. Awesome. And also I saw the Back to the Future license was up there. Was there any plan to like a six scale black round or anything? That was really cool. We've only got the, the vehicle at the moment. Oh, so not, yeah. not the characters. Is there any updated one the vehicle to drop the order potentially? We're working on the Batmobile first. Once we've figured out the the whole production how it's gonna work and we release the Batmobile, then we'll go on to the awesome. Thank you, appreciate it. He said that was the last question. Is he good? Is he good? Yeah, it's a great question. All right, what is it? Bro, what is it? Uh, he's a Jackie Chan collectible. Jackie Chan. Anything? <laughs> Does anyone want Jackie Chan collectible? Rush hour. Rush hour. It may, maybe not, maybe not. So. Okay, so that's everything from us. So this is our first ever event. So hopefully you guys enjoy it. If you enjoyed it, give us some feedback by email and also let us know how you do it differently because we'd like to do this again, hopefully yearly, and show more collectibles because this is the only chance we get to see you face to face. Hear from you guys what you think of the figures. Come back next year. Do the next one. Yeah. Next year.